The Path of the Laughing Mind, Part 4 Mo's journey had taken him through questions of time, knowledge, perception, and reality. But as he approached the guru for what he sensed might be the last time, his mind turned to the deeper, more challenging aspects of existence, good and evil, morality, and the meaning behind suffering. Guru, what is the nature of good and evil? Are they absolute forces or just perspectives? Good and evil, Mo, are like two sides of the same coin. But sometimes it's hard to tell which side you're looking at, especially if the coin is spinning. What's good for one might seem evil to another, like the rain that's a blessing to the farmer, but a curse to the picnic goer. Good and evil are perspectives shaped by our experiences and beliefs, but they also have roots in something deeper, a sense of harmony and disharmony in the world. So, they're not absolute, but they're not entirely subjective either. Exactly. Think of good and evil as notes in a song. On their own, they might sound harmonious or dissonant, depending on how they're played. But the song of life needs both high and low notes to be complete. The trick is finding the right balance, too much of one, and the song loses its beauty. So while good and evil aren't fixed, they're not random either. They're part of the greater melody of existence. Mo began to understand that good and evil were not rigid absolutes, but rather parts of a larger harmony, one that required both light and shadow to give life its full meaning. Guru, is morality objective or subjective? Is there a universal moral code that everyone should follow? Morality, Mo, is like the path we walk. Some parts are clear and well-trodden, while others are rocky and uncertain. Is there a universal path? Perhaps, but we all walk it differently, guided by our own experiences and beliefs. Morality has roots in our shared humanity, but it grows differently in each of us, like a tree that bends to the wind but remains rooted in the earth. So morality is both shaped by our experiences and grounded in something universal. Precisely. Morality is subjective in how it manifests, but it's rooted in universal principles like the desire for harmony, compassion and justice. It's like a tree with branches reaching in different directions, but all connected to the same trunk. We might not always agree on the details, but the roots are the same for all of us. Mo realized that while morality is shaped by personal and cultural perspectives, it also draws from universal principles that connect all of humanity, like a tree whose branches are diverse, yet all stem from the same roots. Guru, what is the purpose of suffering? Why does it exist? Suffering, Mo, is like the river. It shapes the landscape, carving valleys and canyons over time. It's not pleasant, but it's necessary for growth. Suffering pushes us to change, to evolve, to seek something better. It's like the grit that turns into a pearl inside the oyster. Without suffering, we might never discover our strength, our compassion or our resilience. So suffering has a purpose, even if it's hard to see in the moment. Yes, suffering is a teacher, though a harsh one. It forces us to confront our limitations, to let go of what no longer serves us and to find deeper meaning in our lives. It's like the winter that prepares the earth for spring. Without it, the flowers wouldn't bloom. So while suffering is difficult, it's also a part of the greater cycle of life, pushing us to grow and evolve. Mo understood that suffering, though painful, was a necessary part of life's journey. Like the river that shapes the land, it helps us to grow, evolve, and ultimately find deeper meaning in our existence. And so, Mo's journey reached its conclusion. He learned that good and evil were perspectives. Morality was both universal and personal, and suffering was a teacher that guided him toward growth. The path of the laughing mind was not just a search for answers, but a way of embracing life's mysteries with humor, wisdom, and a heart open to all that it had to offer. Climbing up the mountain where the questions play Mo searching for the answers in a curious way With the guru's laughter echoing through the trees He 
he's finding wisdom in the whisper of the breeze. Mm. <laughs> Let your spirit unwind. Dance with the questions, leave your doubts behind. On the path, the path, the path of the laughing mind. <laughs> 